Today I answer the question, what is wage and hour insurance coverage? Wage and hour coverage is a coverage enhancement or endorsement attached to an employment practice liability insurance policy, often known as EPLI. It's important to know that wage and hour coverage only covers the defense costs associated with claims brought by employees alleging that their employer failed to pay them fairly. Wage and hour claims can arise from several issues, such as failing to pay overtime, failing to pay minimum wages, taking improper deductions from paychecks, improper time record keeping, failure to pay wages for off-the-clock work, refusing employees break times, and misclassifying employees as independent contractors. Much of the litigation surrounding wage and hour claims stems from the Fair Labor Standards Act, or the FLSA, as well as many state and local laws that govern pay. A major problem for employers with wage and hour claims is that they can arise in the form of class action lawsuits where multiple employees join together to confront an employer with these suits and they become very expensive to defend against. The number of claims involving wage and hour continues to grow as do their settlements. And the industries facing the greatest risk for wage and hour claims are hospitality, food and beverage, garment workers, residential construction, janitorial services, home health care workers, and retail trade. There's a few points that are important to understand here. Not every EPLI policy contains coverage for actions brought as wage and hour claims, which means you need to read your policy. Coverage is limited to defense costs only, as I've mentioned. Settlements, fines, and penalties are not covered. Furthermore, Coverage for defense is limited to a stated amount in the policy, which is typically going to be $100,000 or $250,000. Now, in the large account market, there are some insurance companies that offer coverage broader than this and include settlement as well as defense with high limits of protection, but this is usually limited to Fortune 1000 type companies. So since coverage is limited, proper risk management strategies should be deployed to avoid the threat of a lawsuit. This includes having up-to-date, professionally prepared policies and procedure handbooks, conducting wage and hour audits to assure compliance, assuring that HR is trained on the differences between exempt and non-exempt employees, and auditing the type of work independent contractors are performing to assure compliance. Here's the bottom line. Wage and hour claims are increasingly being filed against employers, and defending against these claims is expensive, which is why you need to make sure wage and hour is included in your EPI policy. Settlements can be extremely expensive. In addition to courts awarding back pay, you may also be subject to liquidated damages, attorney's fees, and punitive damages, which means having the right employment practices and HR policies and procedures in place and having them audited and updated regularly by a qualified employment attorney is critical. Have other questions about EPLI or business insurance in general? My contact info is coming up in a second. Why not reach out by phone or email and let's chat about what's concerning you. My expertise is solely working with business owners and I love helping out business owners in New York and across the U.S. with their issues and concerns. Lastly, hey, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks.